How is class today, Mr. Borko? Oh, call me Hal, Gina. Okie dokie. It was all right. Only a few kids fell asleep. So, want to go out tonight? What? Oh. Uh, by day, he's Hal Borko, a mild-mannered MIMO history teacher. But by night, he's... Away! Bee Cow, the shadowy athletic director that fights to keep the balance of athletics and academics at Maimonides School. I saw the gym lights were on. What do you need? Well, you know, it's about the Sarachek tournament. The one at Yeshiva University? Yes, and it's come to my attention that many teachers don't want their students to miss class in order to attend the tournament. But it's a tradition. The seniors go every year. Why would the teachers suddenly not want them to go? It must be a conspiracy. Right, just like the conspiracy about you not having a house. Shut up! Who's behind this? All of the teachers! Oh my lord! This conspiracy must be this deep! You mean balls? No! We're not allowed to say that! But there has to be a leader! Who came to you about this? Does it really matter, Hal? Tell me where the drugs are, Jaffy! What are you talking about, Hal? I mean, tell me who told you about this, Jaffy! I heard it from Rabbi e, who was, you know, stealing my lunch at that time. Thank you for the info, Rabbi! And remember, an MCAT always never quits! Whatever, Hal. Just fix it, you know. What am I supposed to do with all of these? Fat man walking! What's that? Yeah, I felt you bump into me. Oh, uh, like, I really like when people interrupt me. Ew. What, do you just look at your face? No, you picked up food that was on the floor and are going to eat it. It's kind of gross. Good comeback, Potsy. That doesn't even make any sense. I'll eat you! No! Stop right there! Why are you even here? You, you don't have class until third period. And MCAT never sleeps in his own house. You're free. But can you do the scoreboard for tonight's game? Uh. I'll get him later. The bee cow always gets its way. So, Rabbi, any news about the Sarachek tournament? Yes, but first you have to do something for me. Rabbi, e, I told you I'm done throwing softballs at hobos. Finished! You're finished with throwing softballs at hobos. I don't know why no one knows English in this school. Anyway, it's not one of those favors. What do you want? Popper needs orthoscopic surgery for the softball season. Also, the rest of the softball team needs uh, performance enhancing drugs. That'll cost about 40000 How will we even get that money? My salary isn't even that high. I don't know. Just, just cut the budgets for the boys' wrestling and soccer teams. You do know that your sons are on the team, right? Sons? What sons? All I have is a softball team. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. Fine. It's a deal. Now tell me about the Sarachek tournament. It's someone from the Lima de Kodish department. That's all I've heard. If you want to know more, ask Pywell. Pywell? My nemesis. Hello there, Pywell. How did you get into my classroom? An MCAT never reveals his secrets. Why so sexist? An MCAT is never sexist. Listen to Mr. Strunk. Get to the point. Be concise. Why are you here? Rabbi E sent me to you. Use the active voice. Why are you here? It's about the Sarachek tournament. Oh, Mrs. Jaffe was talking about that. 
She doesn't want the seniors to go or something. Okay. You know, basketball is a prime example of something we took from the Native Americans. Take the English people, put them in the Americas with the Native Americans, and ta-da! Basketball. It's like the Aztec thing, too. The Aztecs built farms. They planted the corn. They had to sacrifice their children. So, like, I'm teaching this class on, like, bray shit, and, like, I'm telling them about how, like, evolution doesn't exist. Shalom. None of that shalom business now. I need to talk to Mrs. Jaffe. Leave. Not just two feet away, far away. Okay. Jeez, what's that guy's problem? I mean, I don't know. I think it's like a cultural thing or something. Yeah, the whole Hebrew department freaks me out. <sighs> so, uh, what's up? Are you pregnant again? Um, no. Like, not today. A little piebald on a tree told me you have a problem with the Sarachek tournament. Yeah, um, I'm just like worried that like the students like aren't motivated to come to class anymore and like if I let them go then like they won't come back. How about if you let the seniors go? I'll make sure they'll come back to your class. Um, but like how can you guarantee that? The BCAO always gets it done. Um, okay. The day is saved. See, kids, if an cap puts his mind to it, he can accomplish anything. Now to the boys' locker room, I mean, my office.